What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know, we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to prayer and with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy, okay? Had that strong, close, and personal relationship with God. So April 22nd, an, I took a nap, right? And I know when God be trying to show me something, sometimes I do really get tired out of nowhere. And I just fall asleep. And boom, you know, there we go. So anyway, part of the dream that I had very quick, I seen the, the map of the world. Like, I seen all parts of it. And in the dream, there were places on the map that were red, like really dark red, some kind of almost pinkish, very light red. Some places had complete black all over it. So I was trying to figure out what was going on. So God explained this part to me in the dream. He said, my child, this represents many things, plagues, blackouts and death counts. He says, this is not me giving you something to worry about. So he's telling people that follow him not to worry about this. But he's saying, this is my warning to those who lack the Holy Spirit, the spirit of their father. So, like, I remember seeing Chicago be kind of like red, real, real dark red. Like, I looked over to the eastern part of the world and Africa was just black. Like, darked out. California was like blacked out. Part of the some of the south in the U.S. was blacked out like it was crazy. And I was like, what the heck? So the Lord was just explaining to me like plagues, blackouts and death count rise. And, you know, that's a warning to people who don't have God that he about the things are about to happen that are going to affect a lot of the people that don't have him. OK. So then in this next part of the dream, I had a dream that people were locked in this camp, right? It was me and a group of other people. We all, everybody was young. Um, and it was like these men watching us. They had hoods over their head and they was watching us, like watching every move we make to see if we was going to try to run. And it's almost like they was trying to get us to, to agree to the rules. They were teaching people rules of this place and they were trying to get us to agree to these rules if we would accept them or not right and they randomly would come up to somebody and start talking to them about it's almost like brainwashing somebody trying to control somebody right not the first time i've seen this about brainwashing so the lord says this slavery all over again not what people think um spiritual slavery tribulation time period persecution of my children Notice in the dream, the people found a way to get their own food and have joy. So it was a part in a dream where, um, you know, everybody was sneaking food in, like real good food, sneaking food in where they couldn't see it. And then somehow found a way to go to hidden places to have joy and was having fun and wasn't scared no more. So let me break this down. So the Lord says the great tribulation period won't be like a good time. And of course, his children won't face that period. But that's, again, another warning to those that don't have him. Now, in this hour where the enemy is trying to keep people under control, this is what the Lord has to say. The devil won't be able to hold you in this season and next. Only on the great tribulation will spiritual slavery be a big issue rapture we already went over this with the rapture a lot of people don't think that that thing that's going to happen but it is because even <laughs> the demons are trying to convince people that that's not real so from that little uzi vert video of him saying oh you have entered the rapture if you haven't made it if you're still here then you going to hell right with me so like if demonically if something is saying that is trying to get you to think that you missed the rapture okay so the devil's trying to do that in this hour he says do not wait to be left behind my children come to me return to me i love you all 
So he's talking about the great tribulation. Do not sit up here and wait to be left behind. Like, go to God right now. Because many people don't realize just how fast just how fast time is uh, moving. You don't have as much time as you think. So get right right now so that you don't get left behind and be stuck in a horrible time period. And I pray for people that constantly try to say that the rapture is just not a thing. I'm just like, that is the saddest uh, mindset to have to think that God will leave you with the devil's vessel on earth after holding him back for so long. That don't even make sense. But uh, yeah, I just, I would hope that you would receive clarity and, you know, to those that do know, good, you know, don't lose faith in God. God has given me multiple dreams about both the great tribulation and the rapture. So I just pray for clarity for many. Peace and blessings, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.